Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I haven't really had anything to film. I'm still waiting for everything to come back from the machine shop. Um, progress is happening, um, but it's happening very, very slowly. Much slower than I'd like. Um, I'd really like to get everything back and make a start on reassembly, but uh, I can't really do anything about it. It is what it is. I've already paid him. Uh, most of the money for the job. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the videos I put out. They're not the best, but you know, I think they're pretty decent. Um, probably a bit too long, some of them, but anyway, it's besides the point. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everyone who has already subscribed, and welcome back. Um, this is going to be a bit of an update video. Um, the only real thing I have done when you left off, or when I left off in the last video, sorry, in the last video, um, mostly finished making this manifold. I haven't made any more progress on it. Um, I was going through all my studs for the mains. I found four that are going to work because I'm going to. I'm going to leave this girdle off this time. Uh, I've got a few reasons behind that. So the the main studs that I was using before had to be longer to account for the girdle thickness. So I went through, I found four that were the right length, as you can see. And I had four that were a bit too short. They just weren't. I posted this on my Instagram page, if you're following. They, um, the threads were just under the bottom of that nut and I I didn't want to trust it so I went and brought four more the same length as these other ones so now they're all all the same installed height all the way down the block so I got the main studs sorted so that way uh, when I get everything back from the machine shop I can plastic gauge the crank check main clearances and all that and assemble the crank into the block um, I brought myself a new welder. It's not the most expensive welder out there, but uh, it's an ACT, does lift, high frequency, you know, pre gas, post gas, all that sort of good stuff. Um, I've got everything here. I just got this today, which is just a quick little. Uh, 15 amp to 10 amp converter because this world is a 15 amp plug. I don't have a 15 amp socket. I could get one in easy enough, um, but I don't really do very heavy wall stuff, so I think this will get me by for the time being until I go and put a plug in somewhere there. And um, it's just the torches and shit like that. So I'm looking forward to getting that going and. Uh, where is it? I really need to clean up in here more. I right, over here. Looking forward to getting that going and modifying this manifold. I've got to reverse the throttle body over to the other side. So stick around for that. That's going to come. And this is part of that manifold I was working on. I just need to go and finish. Uh, ticking up all these welds, which I'd like to use. Yeah, it just goes under there like to use the new welder on, uh, if I can. Um, I uh, brought myself, I can't see it, brought myself a new ute the other day, over there. It's a Colorado RG, pretty nice. I needed a ute again, something to uh, carry shit around in. Um, the Commodore's just been sitting here under this car cover uh, waiting like me. Um, this bird shit everywhere has actually ruined the paint in a couple of spots so there might be some painting coming in some future episodes. But today I want to make a start on a little project. I uh, I want to make a start on a little project I have planned. 
Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope you guys uh, are interested in it. I'm kind of interested. I want to know if it's going to work or not. Um, so let me set you up on the tripod and I'll give you a rundown of what I want to do. Okay, so this is my spare pressure plate. Obviously, it's a pressure plate. Um, I have had on my mind for a little while now a bit of a worry about my good pressure plate. Over here. Uh, this guy is just a XD. I came with my cushion button clutch. Um, I have been a little worried about the clamping force on this guy for a while. Um, I did ask when I had the five puck made up that they put a bit of clamp pressure or increase the clamp pressure on this. I don't think they did. I don't think they did anything. Just charged me a bunch of money and did sweet fuck all. So I'm going to take matters into my own hands and I'm going to try and increase the clamp pressure on this bad boy myself and I'm thinking by doing that or I'm thinking how I'm going to do that is it has these little steel straps um, they look to me like the, the spring that pushes the um, I'm not sure the technical term of this I can't remember but it pushes this onto the clutch plate um, clamping it uh, I'm not going to do anything with this one just yet. I'm going to set it aside. And I have this guy, my old spare. This is just a standard Xeedy heavy duty for a combo. Um, it has the same steel bands. So I'm thinking if I can, there's, there's a rivet there and there's a rivet there. If I can drill them out, get the bands off it and add, add one to this in the three spots where they are there's another one back here um, it should increase the clamp force that I have on my clutch which will hopefully help it hold I mean it already held 500 horsepower um, but I want to just give it that little bit extra help because I do want to try and squeeze a bit more out of this in this next run I am going to go to a twin plate later on but they're very expensive and I'm going to have to save up for it but for the time being I want to try and get that one working a bit better so I'm not going to be able to get this all done today because I don't have any new steel rivets to go back on but I want to drill these out um, I don't know if I'll do every one, I might depends how long and hard it is um, and then I just want to have a look at my theory. I want to see if this is in fact going to be what gives the, the pressure plate a bit more spring pressure or if it does absolutely speak fuck all. So, in other words, I'm either going to do something really cool and modify my own clutch or I'm going to fuck shit up, which, well, I need to buy the twin plate anyway. It's not the end of the world. Um, so, I think it this on the bench, crack the drill out, set you guys up on a bit of a time lapse, um, drill out these few rivets and we'll come back and have a bit of a chat about what I find out. So stick around.
Here's mine. Wait.
So. Right, I don't know where it uh, left off. Alright, right, so battery died. Um, I don't know uh, where it left off. Um, I don't think you missed very much. Uh, all I did was I managed to get the last of them off. Um, and then separate the ring from the diaphragm. Um, I learned a little bit in the, the process. Obviously when I do this one I'm going to be far more careful about attacking it with the energy running. I didn't care about this plate so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, <clears throat> I think I am oh, partially right about these having clamping force will be in a spring. I think they do a couple of things. Um, but I think so there's a little bit of a spring in the cover here for the diaphragm. Um, as you tighten the bolts up this pushes on them pulling the, the fingers down. I think there's a little bit of spring tension there but I do believe it gets the majority of it from here um, because they're acting directly on this which is sandwiching it onto the flywheel and so a combination of the two is what gives you your clamping pressure. Um, I need to locate and track down some solid steel rivets not such a big deal uh, measure them up and uh, go and get a few. Uh, I'll just show you what I think I mean here on this one, but see how they're sort of they're not flat, they're offset. Um, yeah, I don't know that this is going to have. Um, much of an impact on it. So I'm going to do a bit more research on it. Before I go hacking apart this, I need to give it a WD again. Oh, I need some more WD. Um, Alright. Anyway, that's as far as I can go here today. Right. Um, anyway, that's as far as I can go today. Um, I don't have any steel rivets to put it back together. Um, so I'm going to end the video here. Oops, I need that. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, Stick around. I probably won't have a video for a couple of weeks yet, but I've got some oh, pretty interesting stuff happening. I'm gonna go away in a couple of weeks for a week or so. I'm gonna do a bit of filming while I'm away. Um, I have a couple of small videos for you guys, sort of more vloggy than car content. There's gonna be car content, but yeah, um, probably not as much as you would like and I would like to have in it. Um, I'm hoping to get the stuff back from the machine shop in a week or two. When I do, I'll make a small video, give a rundown of all the work that was done, all the work that's got to be done. I've got to finish uh, this manifold here, but I've got to get a gas bottle for the new welder. 
uh, which I can't afford right now because I've got to pay for the machine. But anyway, uh, stick around to find out how this works, how it goes, if it works, if it doesn't, what it does. I'm just confused. I reckon it is going to add spring tension, but I'm, I think most of it might be in the diaphragm. I don't know, I'll have to have a flick through my uh, books from my apprenticeship and have a look. It'll probably have some detailed uh, diagrams and uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, Context, text, fucking paragraphs, information, you'll have it in there. And hopefully it'll tell me how and what does what and what I need to do to get a bit more clamp. If I can't, if nothing that I've just done there on that other pressure plate isn't going to do shit, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'll just repack the clutch, send it for the time being, and then start saving for the twin plate. Uh, but anyway, it's enough bullshit rambling from me. Thanks to everyone who's uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around. I've got to finish. Uh, stick around. I've got to finish building this. And that, and that, and get all that shit back on there. Get it back in the car. Until then, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more about that clutch, chuck a comment down in this video. And I will. I'll let you guys know or make a small video about what I find out, when I find it out, and how I find it out, and what I do. If you want to see it, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.